Namaste dear children welcome to class 2 english subject today i will take the next poem a house and the second lesson the fly it is in page number 15 a house reading for fun i will read first the poem here is a nest for the sparrow here is a hive for the bee here is a hole for the bunny and there is a house for me a nest is a house for a sparrow a hive is a house for a bee a hole is a house for a bunny but a house is a house for me see here sparrow which is sparrow here these two birds which i marked red mark just now these are sparrow sparrows two sparrows but here single sparrow here is a nest for the sparrow what is nest see this is called nest the small birds are sitting in nest that is called nest here is a hive for the bee hive what is hive see this is hive see this is that is hive and bee these three are bees hive here is a hive for the bee here is a hole for the bunny what is a bunny this is called bunny this rabbit is called bunny and hole is its here is a hole for the bunny and they here is a house for me this is the house for me she says she is saying that this is a house for me a nest is a house for a sparrow a hive is a house for a bee a hole is a house for a bunny but a house is a house for me this is for reading for fun that's why i read no explanation just we need to know which is a hive which is a nest which is a sparrow which is a bunny what is a hole and what is a house like that what we have house like that sparrow is its own house bees have its own house bunny is its own house this is for fun reading i will go to the next lesson second lesson the fly get set name the animals write l for animals that live on land and w for animals that live in water okay see here name the animals write l for animals that live that live on land and w for animals that live in water read the names of animals given below where do they live write land or water on the blanks below this one first one lion is lion land animal or water animal 
we have to write option here lion land animal second one whale whale lives in water right water in front of whale third one octopus octopus lives in water fourth one sparrow just now before that this lesson one poem house poem in that sparrow is there it is living in the nest so land right in front of sparrow land fifth one owl owl is a bird so right land in front of owl sixth one starfish starfish it is a kind of fish so it lives in water right water in front of starfish this is the activity and one more thing here animals are here tiger duck monkey cow squirrel fish these are l for animals that live on land and w for what animals that live in water monkey in the above box monkey right land monkey lives on land so right l above the monkey and tiger here tiger above right land in this box in this fill in the blanks right l cow this is cow and right here this box land squirrel here is squirrel so right here land duck duck will live on both land and water and most of the time it spends in water so write duck as w water and fish fish always live in water they won't come out of water so write fish water w just to write w fish duck these two water w right letter w and the rest of the animals right l this is the activity next i will give the model reading now listen once there was a tiny animal it had big eyes and shiny wings this tiny animal got up one morning it rubbed its eyes it spread its wings and looked around i oh dear who am i what is my name next the tiny animal felt sad it looked up it saw the sky then it looked down it saw a cough it flew down to the cough dear cough do you know my name no i don't ask my mother she will tell you the tiny animal flew to the cow oh pretty cow do you know my ho name oh how could you forget your name why don't you ask the woman with the walking stick the woman said ask the green grass that grows by the river the green grass said ask the water in the river the water in the river said ask the tall tree the tall tree said 
ask the pretty bird in the nest the bird flapped its wings and said don't ask me i don't know i only know how to fly the tiny animal jumped up with joy when it heard the word fly oh now i remember my name is fly my name is fly i am a fly this is the reading of the lesson now i will explain the lesson once there was a tiny animal t i n y tiny animal tiny means very small it had big eyes and shiny wings big eyes we don't know which animal it is now tiny animal it is it had big eyes what kind of eyes big eyes shiny wings that animal has wings see here 1 2 3 4 these are wings i oh dear who am i what is my name it is asking itself it forgot its name it is asking himself who am i what is my name the tiny animal felt sad now i am here the tiny animal felt sad sad means unhappy it looked up it saw the sky when we look up we can also see the sky then it looked down it saw a calf it flew down to the calf now i am here flew flew is a past tense of fly flew f l e w flew past tense of fly fly means flying verb birds fly in the sky fly it flew down to the calf calf means baby cow is called a calf here this white animal this is a baby cow it is called calf dear calf do you know my name that tiny animal asks calf that do you know my name no i don't ask my mother she will tell you this calf said to the tiny animal that no i don't ask my mother she will tell you it says like that then next part here the tiny animal flew to the cow flew i said na f l e w flew means past tense of fly flew to the cow oh pretty cow do you know my name oh pretty cow do you know my name it tasks the tiny animal asks the cow oh how could you forget your name why don't you ask the woman with the walking stick the cow says oh how would you forget your name how could you forget your name why don't you ask the woman with the walking stick then the pretty cow says how could you forget your name why don't you ask the woman with the walking stick it said further it leads that small tiny anim- animal to the next person see first it tasks calf calf says ask to my mother and the pretty cow says ask to the 
woman with a walking stick and what she will say here it is the woman said the the tiny animal asks this walk, woman also this woman with the walking stick the woman said ask the green grass that grows by the river green grass go and ask to the green grass that grows by the river that woman said like that next the tiny animal flew to the green grass then the green grass said ask the water in the river then it asks to the water the water in the river said ask the tall tree then the tiny animal asked to the tall tree the tall tree said ask the pretty bird in the nest pretty bird in the nest ask the pretty bird in the nest the bird flapped its wings and said flapping flapping its wings means it's uh, started moving its uh, wings and making sound it is called flapping its wings and said don't ask me i don't know i only know how to fly don't ask me i don't know i don't know your name i only know how to fly then the tiny animal jumped up with joy when it heard the word fly f l y it's in capital letters oh now i remember my name is fly my name is fly i am a fly the tiny animal's name is fly it is named as fly and by knowing the before knowing the name of the fly which are all the animals we come to know in this lesson the calf the pretty cow and the woman with the walking stick then the green grass then the river then the tall tree then the pretty bird in the nest these animals names also we come across in this lesson so here is the end of the lesson and read the lesson once again and i will give the answer read and understand who said these words tick write the correct answers i will give this answer by clicking the photo and i will send it to your group children take care of yourself be happy be safe in your home dhanyawad